Okay, talk to me. From you wake up every morning, you's a winner, yeah. What's going on, guys? It's your girl Razor in the brrrr, the, the ding, and welcome back to another video. If you're new, hey, boo, and if you're returning, what's up, what's up, what's up? How are you today? In today's video, we're going to do a hairstyle. I first saw this style on Instagram a couple weeks ago and I instantly fell in love. I'm not really into trendy hairstyles, but if I like it, I like it and I'm going to try it. I wanted to try it in front of you guys and I'm only going to be using my natural hair. So I'm not going to add any extensions. So we're just using all of my hair. So hopefully it turns out good. I'm going to bring you guys along the way, showing you guys how I do the style. So initially I saw these done with braids box braids so my hair has been prepped shampooed deep conditioned and i applied my leave-in and i asked my mom to help me with my parts front section is already parted and the back is just gonna be braids right you guys know i usually style my hair when it's dry but today's sunday we got work tomorrow so we gotta style it right now the only thing in my hair right now is leave-in conditioner we're gonna part the hair I'm just trying to get the front parts as straight as possible. Put this away. So I'm gonna part this down in the middle. Now we're gonna break this into four quadrants. And I probably need a better comb to part this, but I don't know where my rat tail tooth comb is. So we just gonna have to work with what we got. So we got the sections in the front. Then we're gonna break this down into two sections. If you're not new to my channel, you know what product I'm using to seal the deal. So we're gonna apply that. So we have our rubber bands. Since this is the first one, I don't know how tight I'm going to put it, but I don't want it too tight. So wrap it around about three, let's go with four, about four times and pull. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Two, three, four, pull. Now I'm going to do the same thing to this section. Apply the product, put on a rubber band. I've seen a lot of the styles where they just connect them, but I'm gonna do mine a little different. I want to actually braid mine before I connect. Just a loose braid, not too tight. So I'm gonna connect this with another rubber band. Two, three, four. I think five times works a lot better. It's all in the, the pull. I'm gonna connect this one now to the back. <laughs> Good. Now we're going to connect the front section to this back section. You guys get the drill? Let me focus and be right back. So I learned some tips along the way. If you're going to do two on one section, make the section in the front the bigger section just so you can see the difference and you can really see the X. And I also have another tip for you guys, which I'll talk to you guys about in a few. For instance, I'm going to make the front section bigger than the back. Here's the other tip. Instead of just connecting, wrap it around first. And then put on the rubber band. Because when I did it without wrapping it around, I realized that the rubber band came loose and it wasn't tight enough or secure enough so wrap it around first and then connect and then pull and then you're gonna connect this one more time instead of four to the back I'm done with the front so now I'm going to do the braids at the back I most likely won't wear them down with the braids but I feel like this would look really good if the back was out in a braid out because when i just unraveled my braid i realized it looked so good if it was a braid out with my hair full at the back and we are done for real now so i did curl the ends it looks really good though how we looking i like it i actually like it even though i didn't put too much emphasis in doing the back just because i'm probably gonna wear it in a ponytail until but i think i can rock these for a bit the bit the braids until i'm actually ready to do a braid out let me put this into a ponytail real quick just to show you guys how it would look in a ponytail just in case i don't come on here in the morning to show you guys what it looks like <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Morning guys, I'm eating my breakfast while talking to you. So sorry. It's the next morning. Well, the next day. So I did take my hair out of the ponytail to sleep. It would have been uncomfortable if I slept with a ponytail in. However, I kept the scarf around my edges. Whew, that feels so good. 
all right so this is the morning view i'm not gonna do anything to my edges though just wanted to show you guys what my hair looked like the next day and we're gonna put it right back into the ponytail <laughs> you know this hair was plain stubborn and it didn't it didn't want to go into you know it didn't want to join the family so it's that's why it's just like this i mean i can just curl it and do that crazy baby hair look people be doing <laughs> but anyway yeah so i'm gonna rock a low ponytail and go about my day hopefully i have a great day today hopefully you guys have a great day as well so see you guys maybe whenever i rock the braid out yeah. What do you guys think? So this looks really cute as a braid out, especially with the braids in the front. We're loving it, you know, it looks really nice. I would definitely rock this style again. It's a pity I don't have anywhere to go and I'm not going to work like this, so we love it. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And of course, it'll get bigger. If I wore it out, it would have gotten bigger and bigger. And looked really full but it's already full without me fluffing too much full and defined so i really love this and i think i found the perfect braid out combo because i haven't done a braid out in a while as well and i think we found the perfect combo for my hair so maybe one day i'll share it with you guys good morning guys it's hot i had my hair down i was gonna wear my hair down to work and once i got there i would have put it into to a bun but before i left the house i had to put it <laughs> into a bun because the heat y'all the heat the front still looks fresh doesn't make sense to do the edges because it's gonna sweat out it, it, it just doesn't make sense so just wanted to show you guys day three today's tuesday i did my hair on sunday monday tuesday so yeah day three hair still looks fresh you guys saw the braid out last night and the braid out is still intact the braid out still looks defined and my hair is still moisturized but i need to get to work because i may be late if i don't leave now i'm eating a peanut butter sandwich that's the quickest and easiest thing for me to eat in the morning if i don't get to sit down and eat a decent breakfast carbs peanut butter a little bit of protein not much fat really good and i cannot be the only person who does this i like to put honey with my peanut butter so i just wanted to tell you guys that okay wait bye 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 if you want to prevent as much breakage as you can girl get a scissors right and you can take your time and you can cut 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 but i'm gangster like that so we gonna bust 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 <laughs> find it the rubber band boom because to be honest if i keep looking for all these rubber bands and cutting I'll be here all day I know I got somewhere to go we about to party this weekend we about to get little, 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 little. <laughs> but anyway I just finished working out so I'm gonna unravel and quickly wash my hair because I have no idea how I'm going to style my hair this weekend because I'm actually, I'm actually going out 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 but I don't know how I'm gonna style so yeah all right we'll figure this out and when I get to the front some of them can actually slide on right down the take down is done no time to wash thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video see you in the next one bye bye